What is going on? It's been a minute since I made a video. Still have the Miata. It's still here. If you guys are here just for the Transmission 2 up update, skip for like two minutes in. I'm gonna give a little quick life update if anyone cares. I'm sure no one does. Um, it's been a while. I apologize. I haven't made a video in a minute. Um, life's been getting in the way. Uh, my roommate who lived with me with the E36 moved out. He moved to California for work. Uh, it's just me and my girlfriend in the house and I've been doing a lot of house renovations. Uh, redoing the master bedroom, bathrooms, yada yada yada, adult stuff which sucks. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I've been working on the car. I got a whole bunch of stuff to update you guys on and uh, I'm excited to show you guys the progress I've made and it's almost done despite that it's in pieces still. So let's get right into it. Alright, so let's do a full update on the car um, and then I'm trying to get some work done on the car. I kind of filmed that too. This might be a little long video. But people have been dying to know about the Turbo 2 swap, so I'm here to give you guys an update. So, um, biggest thing that's changed, obviously, you can tell, is I painted the engine bay. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, my car is definitely not a show car, so I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. Um, it is cleared. It's, uh, I can't remember the color, but I went with red. And it looks good, you know, it's a five feet, five mile an hour looking looking good car. It's not gonna be, not gonna be perfect. And uh, I tucked some wires, so that's all the wires you see on this side. <laughs> There's not many. <laughs> and then over there I have two small looms that I'm, I'm trimming down and uh, all the rest is tucked. So it's, you know, a basic wire tuck. I left a few bo fuse box up front because it's easy to work on, it's easy to access. When you're at the track or something like that, it's easy to change a fuse. So yeah, so that's the biggest thing about the engine bay. Uh, I figured I'd take the time to just repaint it. Okay, so let's get on to the bulk of things. So, as you can see, my car is up on jack stands and the turbo two transmission is not here. Where could it be? Let's go take a look, see. Okay, so before we get to the, good, the goods, um, I didn't get my frame rails installed. They are in. I actually didn't end up using them for the swap like I planned on, but they are installed. Okay, let's just show you guys it. So, the transmission is in the car, supported by its own weight on engine mounts or training mounts. So, here's give you a full look of it. Just a full, full look. All right, so before we talk about the goods, um, I just wanna point out that I did get my frame rails installed. They are over there and over here. Um, I didn't end up actually using them for the swap, but they're just good to have. So as you guys can see, obviously the transmission is in, supported by its own weight. This jack is not doing anything. Um, I did make my own transmission mounts. So what I did is I used the OEM RX-7 Turbo 2 transmission mount, which is this Y piece you see bolted in right here on the trans. And that goes through this horizontal member um, that's all OEM from RX-7 from Mazda this piece and this piece. And then it has two holes here, two holes here, and I made these mounts that bolt through the firewall. So each mount has, this one has three holes, yeah, they each have three holes that are bolted through the firewall. And so everything's kind of just finger tight right now, nothing's really in there solid. And on the other side of the firewall, um, well, first of all, these two mounts are made out of quarter inch uh, thick steel. And I also plated the insides of the firewall inside the car with a quarter inch um, steel to bolt through that to get some uh, strength to the firewall. Because the firewall is not very strong. But this is how the Kmiata does their transmission swap as well. So I'm pretty happy how it came out. Anyone has any, anyone has any questions, please let me know. I can definitely give you guys some more details on it. Okay, so since all my uh, batteries for my camera keep dying, I'm going to film the rest of this video on my iPhone. I ordered new batteries. It's been so long since I've used my batteries. They don't hold a charge anymore. So bear with me for this video. Next video will be with my good camera. I apologize. So back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, so anyway, I, I made these mounts. Oh, this camera actually looks pretty good. <laughs> I think I actually made it better than my uh, other camera. Um, we're just recapping. This came from Mazda. This came from Mazda. All OEM through bolt, that's all OEM. These are the new mounts I made and welded up myself. Um, as you can see, they are welded on the outsides and the insides. So I think they're pretty strong. They should be fine. I'm not too worried about it. 
um, bolted through the firewall and plated on the inside to give it some strength. The mounts are really heavy. They're, they're pretty solid. They're like, they're, they're definitely heavy duty, so they should work. Anyway, so, and as you can see, I have no drive shafts um, or, or dip. Actually, no, the dip isn't. Yeah, about that. I gotta explain to you guys about my whole diff situation. Um, the diff's in, no drive shaft. I ordered the drive shaft today, so it should be done this week. So next video, I'll definitely give an update when I get my drive shaft in. Um, but yeah, so we'll talk about that in a second. So anyway, I just want to make sure I, I answer any questions on the Turbo 2 RX-7 transmission swap with the transmission itself. You do have to cut out this hole a little bit to make room for the shifter. Um, it's, it's not a big deal. It's a small notch. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I do need to order a clutch still. There's no clutch on the car at the moment. The transmission is just sitting inside the car um, with the flywheel on, but no clutch. So yeah, any other questions about the swap, please shoot me a message on Instagram. I'll send you guys pictures of the mounts I built. Um, I can take some rough measurements if anyone needs them. But it's very, very easy to make. It, it really wasn't that hard at all. Okay, so let me explain to you guys about the diff, because it's a little complicated, and I know last time I made a video talking about it, people did not believe me, so I'm here to prove them wrong. This is my old diff. It is um, an LSD Torsen, I think off an NB, I'm not too sure, to be honest with you. And I snapped it clean, like right off on the ear. It's super common, uh, Mazdas have this little notch here, right where my thumb is, and it always snaps. The most like common part that breaks on the diff. So, this is a RX-7 diff. I believe from my little research I've done, it's an NA diff, non-turbo, man, I think manual, I'm not too sure about that, but definitely an NA diff. So, as you can see, I have these two pieces here, and I bet you can obviously guess what I did. I swapped the housing off the RX-7 diff and put it in the Miata diff. So, let's go under, let's talk about it. Let me show you. So... The diff is in, and the actual diff part, like the full diff, is from the Miata. This is the LSD Miata diff. Nothing fancy about this. The gears were fine. I inspected it. Everything looked good on it. Nothing was broken inside. All I did was I swapped the actual housing pumpkin case. And the RX-7 diff uh, for an NA, I, I'm not sure about the turbo ones. Don't quote me on that. But the NA ones bolt right up. I mean, directly right up. It was no big deal. It was the exact same dimensions, perfectly. I mean, even the, all the bolts were identical. So the I had to swap the bushings, which were not hard at all. Um, the the aftermarket polyurethane ones I had in the Miata diff, those came right out. The OEM Mazda Hark 7 diff sucked. Um, I had to cut them and drill them out. I had a friend help me with that. So yeah, like I said new diffs back in, and this this like I said in the last video, this diff is way stronger. It's thicker. It, it does not have that little notch that breaks. So I bet you can see why I'm missing a axle. I have one axle here, but none on this side. So let me show you guys that. And finally, let's move over to here, and here is my other axle. So in the last carnage of uh, the last time I drove the car, I broke an axle. Um, basically, I didn't, nothing actually broke, usually the actual snap, I did not snap one. Um, nothing's actually kind of really broken with this. The only thing is, is that the, the bearings, the ball bearings came out of the sockets inside. And I don't believe it's, you're able to put those back in without like the press maybe, or taking it apart and actually reassembling the whole thing. So I went ahead and ordered two more axles. And the reason why is one, to replace this one. And secondly, to have a backup, because I know I'm going to snap an axle. It's just it's a matter of, matter of time. So I have it in two axles. I bought them. They should be here hopefully this week, too. I'll pop that in. I have my drive shaft coming, so I'll pop that in. I need to put the interior back together, even though it's mostly cleaned up. And believe me, this is actually clean. Uh, before, it was a way, way, way bigger rat's nest. It was a huge nightmare before. This is actually cleaned up, you know, believe it or not. So I need to finish the interior back together, but I'm not putting the dash back in until I start the car to make sure everything's plugged in. And then I need to order a clutch. And once I order the clutch, I'll be good to go. I can drive the car again. So I'll just finish putting it back together. I need to finish redoing some brake lines. Breathe the, breathe the, bleed, 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 bleed the brakes. Oh my God, I can't talk. And yeah, that's about it. So that is the big update in the car. Um, I don't know what else that I've done differently. Uh, besides the diff casing is the big one, the transmissions inside the car, drive shafts ordered, 
and I need to order a clutch. That's what I'm really waiting on. Um, I'm not sure what clutch I'm going to go with. I think I'm going with an ACT, something super heavy because the flying the auto one sucked and I killed that one already. So yeah, the car's uh, just been sitting. I took the insurance off it. <laughs> it's been sitting for like eight months. So I need to put that back together. I think I'm selling my wing. I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think. Should I sell the wing? Should I keep the wing? Definitely comment below and let me know. Um, but yeah, I got the whole garage to myself now. Um, as you can see, the house is all mine. And I have all my toolboxes here. I got a 3D printer. This is an Ender 3. Got this on Black Friday for um, it's like 160 bucks. It's pretty cheap. And then this is my dad's uh, classic Coke machine. He gave this to me when I went home for Thanksgiving. Uh, it's all rigged to be free. It doesn't take any money. And it holds the coldest alcohol beverages ever. Uh, it's a little rusted, needs to be painted, but it works fine. Everything works. I can plug it in right now and turn it on. And uh, it's pretty dope. I love it. He's had this since as long as I can remember. Things older than me. So I'm pretty happy he uh, gave it to me and I can put it in my garage now. But yeah, that is the big update. Um, let me show you what I'm working on right now. I'm currently cutting up my downpipe and remaking my downpipe. Because uh, my exhaust will not fit because of one the turbo 2 bell housing is bigger than the um, 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 R7 uh, bell housing on the training tunnel and then secondly, I, I patched this hole right here This red piece down here uh, before if you know following the build for a while I cut that whole shelf off so I put a new piece of metal on it and fixed the um, fix it up even down there I fixed that one too so I need to make a new downpipe, but that's what I'm doing right now. I would love to film it and show you guys, but my camera's not really cooperating very well. But this was my old downpipe, these three pieces. And I cut the flange off, this bolts to the um, turbo. And then I have this downpipe flange. And I'm going to cut it like here, maybe here, somewhere around here, to tighten up the angle and make it drop faster. And then once I get it down, I'm going to remake the whole exhaust. So. Yeah, I um, I wish I was filming this for you. I'm sure you guys probably want to see this. It kind of sucks. So maybe I'll stop working here tonight, edit this video, post it, and then tomorrow when my batteries come in, make a new video for you guys. So I appreciate you guys watching. appreciate you guys um, commenting and telling me, asking me about where my videos are, where I've been. Um, still here. I said the car will run eventually, I promise. It's just been, you know, one thing after another. Um, I can show you the house. I'm doing some house stuff. No one else cares, feel free to stop watching this video, but let me show you guys what I did with the house. So, yeah, that's the uh, living room. We got new couches, a kitty cat, and uh, I built this entertainment center. I helped my buddy Dylan. It's pretty nice. It's on barn doors. Pretty happy. What? You wanna say hi? Yeah, yeah I know. Hi. And then I uh, got this TV for Black Friday. It was like 500 bucks, 550 bucks. 65 inch uh, Vizio, not too bad, not too bad. I gotta finish hiding that one wire. All the wires are hid behind the wall, but um, I had to rerun a new wire temporarily, just ignore that. And then this is the master bedroom, which I'm currently working on. As you can see, uh, there's no flooring. We painted it, it used to be that ugly brown color. So, process of painting. Uh, I ripped up the old carpeting and uh, we're doing hardwood floors here and then the master bathroom um, This door <laughs> used to be much bigger. It used to go to about here It's, it's really weird looking I'm not privy to you probably don't believe me But that's what it used to be it used to be a huge huge door And I guess the guy before me was in a wheelchair so he made it easier to get inside the, the bathroom So we closed that up and uh, that's where the, we have a barn door. It's in the garage. It's that big box next to my car on the other side. You guys are wondering what that was. Uh, that's going there. And yeah, so it's just uh, doing house stuff. So anyway, I want to wrap up this video. I'm going to post it. I apologize. It's been so long since I made a video. Uh, I will try to get back into the swing of things. I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you. Um, please comment below if you have any questions on the Turbo 2 swap. Anything I need to cover in more detail, let me know. I will definitely address it. See you guys on the next video. Later.